GPT-5 is coming, and this is not just another AI update. It's about to replace entire industries, shut down popular tools, and take over your job. In this video, I'm going to show you five things that GPT-5 will make obsolete almost instantly, overnight. And I'm also going to tell you how you can protect your job before it's too late. So make sure to watch this whole video and share it with as many friends as possible because the time is ticking. Let's go. You know that when you Google something, you have to click on a lot of random links, open 12 different tabs, then scroll for 10 minutes just to find your answer. GPT-5 will flip this entire process upside down. With its massive context window, it can understand exactly what you're asking. It can pull real-time information from the internet, and it will give you a reasoned, summarized answer, all in one go. So instead of sending you to 20 different websites, GPT-5 becomes the website. That means that search engine, at least as we know them, are in big trouble. Why search when you can just ask and instantly understand? Let's take this question, for example. What's the best legal structure for a freelancer in the United States? You have to scroll down. You have to find different Reddit pages that are four years old and they are not correct. You have to check different websites, different blog articles that are optimized for them to grow. This is not good. Let's scroll a bit more down. Oh, this is Quora. Let's scroll a bit down. We're going to find some ads. We're going to find some things that are not accurate anymore. Oh, this response is from three years ago. Oh, this one is for four years ago. Maybe this guy makes some sense, but yeah, this, this happened four years ago, so it's not good. Which business entity is best for freelancers? Let's see another article that's created by this guy. Okay, who is this guy? This is too long. I, I'm, I'm already bored. I'm confused. I already checked like five different websites. Maybe I'm going to have to do this until I reach page four. And I'm going to find something that's from 2023. Again, this is outdated. And you can hardly find something that's relevant. Oh, somebody went through this. Did you register as a freelancer and other legal matters? Let's check this out. Oh, no, this happened eight years ago, guys. So this is not accurate anymore, of course. With ChatGPT, all you have to do, ask it the question, and you are going to receive the correct answer. You don't have to scroll. You don't have to compare. You don't have to check the dates. You don't have to see if the article is old enough. It's going to just give you the correct answer. And in the ending, you'll also get some bonus tips. So this is a no-brainer. We know that ChatGPT is better at this. By the way, this is ChatGPT 4.0. It's not even ChatGPT 5. So think about the powers of ChatGPT 5 when it's going to get launched. So Google side, total chaos. Tons of spam, tons of outdated blogs, outdated Reddit threads, clickbait titles, a lot of conflicting advice. And you're going to have to open like 10 different tabs at least to get to an answer. The GPT side will offer you a lot of clarity. It gives you a structured comparison. It gives you the pros and cons, the tax implications, basically everything you need to know. At number four, we have copywriting templates. They're going to vanish overnight as soon as ChatGPT launches. Mark my words. You've probably seen titles on the internet. Steal my 27 high converting email templates. While that stuff is still valuable, and notice that I said steal, GPT-5 will make it pointless. So instead of relying on someone else's copy, GPT-5 can learn your tone, your brand voice, and even your customer base, and write something completely original without you having to rely on somebody else's copywriting. And this works for basically everything. Email campaigns, sales pages, funnels, captions, everything. The thing is that templates that you are buying off the internet are static. Somebody just made them, and you're, you're going to just have to copy and paste them and use them as they are. GPT-5 will be adaptive, which means that the old way of doing things and copying and pasting stuff will be replaced by prompt, review, and publish. Let me give you a good example of a prompt. Let's check out ChatGPT. So the prompt that I'm giving it, write three promotional emails for a fitness coach with a bold, no BS tone based on the offer. Eight-week online strength training program for busy professionals includes custom meal plans and weekly check-ins. And the audience is men and women between 28 and 45. They work full-time jobs and they struggle to stay consistent in the gym. Okay, so basically, this is you're going to have to know the brand voice. They know the age. They know what is my offer. It knows everything. And there you go. Email number one, stop starting over every Monday. Email number two, your excuses are lying to you. Okay, so it even has a CTA. You can change this and you can, you can put people to join to your program or send you an email or book a call with you. You have three amazing emails crafted specifically for you. And again, this is GPT-4.0. It's not even GPT-5. 
So ChatGPT will instantly generate an amazing copy that's specifically tailored for you and exactly for what you need. It's much better than most people can write from templates. All right, we're just touching the middle of the list, which is number three, entry-level data analysts. You know those entry-level jobs when someone's main task is, is just operating spreadsheets, organizing numbers, and just turning them into basic reports? GPT-5 is coming for that and is doing this very hard. It can already read spreadsheets. It can also understand structure, summarize data, find plans, project patterns, and even suggest what are the next steps. But GPT-5 will not stop there. Oh no, it will also be able to generate charts, highlight anomalies, forecast trends, and it can also answer follow-up questions. This is where it will move from just automating tasks to actually making business decisions. Now, let me give you an example. We have this spreadsheet right here on my laptop. Let's feed it into ChatGPT and let's give it a prompt. Analyze the ad performance spreadsheet. Which campaign performed the best? Which had the worst ROI? Summarize key takeaways and recommend where to allocate more budget. Hit enter. Let's see how many seconds does it take. And boom, in less than 10 seconds, we know what is the best performing campaign with the best ROI, what is the worst performing campaign, which shows that we kind of lost money, what are the key takeaways, what is the budget allocation recommendations, and that's it. You don't have to hire a data analyst. And number two, we have simple graphic design tools. If you ever use tools such as Canva, you already know the process. Pick a template, drag in some text, swap an image, adjust the spacing, but with GPT-5's multimodal capabilities, you will not need any kind of templates. You will not even need design skills at all. Just type exactly what you need, hit enter, and ChatGPT is going to work to create you the best graphic. This is an example of what you would do with Canva. And in the time that it took us to make that with Canva, we just gave GPT a prompt and it already gave us something. We have a base. Now, this base might not be exactly what you need. So we're gonna have to iterate. So all you have to do is just tell it that this is good. So, it's already, so it already knows that you want something like this. Keep everything the same, write beauty on them. That is the name of the brand. Hit enter and it's gonna do exactly that. It kept the originals and it just added my brand's name in here. This is just a basic example. You can use this for much more complicated things. And finally, we have virtual assistants, and I mean the human ones. We used to need virtual assistants to help us with various things. Replying to emails, scheduling meetings, summarizing notes, doing research, following up with clients. But with GPT-5, you will not need to delegate those tasks to anyone. You just do them instantly. No, you don't understand me. You don't have to actually do them. GPT will do them for you. They will just be done, just like that. So all you have to do is just upload the PDF and tell it, summarize this three page PDF, draw a follow up email and remind me to check back next Friday. Enter and lay back, relax. Here's the follow up email and here's the reminder setup. Now GPT-5 will be able to do this, will be able to set a reminder for yourself. It would automatically put it into your calendar. GPT agent already does that. And as you can probably see, I'm doing this in chat GPT-4.0, so it doesn't have that capability, but GPT-5 is going to have it. So yeah, those were just five of the things that GPT-5 will absolutely obliterate overnight. But here's the wild part. This is just the beginning. If you're not learning how to use these tools right now, you're not just missing out, you are falling behind. ChatGPT is gonna launch probably in a few weeks now, and we're gonna make a lot of content about it. How to prompt, how to make money with GPT-5. Yes, we are going to talk about that. And how to stay ahead of the people that are using last year's tools. So smash that like button if you've enjoyed this video, it would greatly help us with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna win in the AI game. And tell me in the comments below, what do you think GPT-5 is going to replace next? Thank you for watching. See you in the next.